Now, white patients like this baby are the default when it comes to medical training. In fact, one recent US study found that in some medical books, only 4% of images have black skin. But this is what medical techs could look like if one Nigerian medical student has his way. DW's West Africa correspondent, Flores Chukuro, reports from Lagos. This is Lagos University Teaching Hospital. Generations of doctors, nurses, all kinds of medics have studied here. And this is one of the books that they use. It's a standard textbook used by international students all around the world. And if you flip through the pages, it's very easy to see that most of the illustrations here are just of white skin. It's almost as if black people don't have operations or don't have babies. And for years, no one really challenged that. I met with one man who not only challenged it, but is doing something about it. Chidebere Ibe did this. His illustration of a black fetus went viral. People around the world realized they had never seen themselves represented that way. His picture turned into much more than a drawing. It was more like a voice speaking out for the black community. Then I had to understand that this drawing was more than just a, a medical illustration or it was a message of hope to the, to, to the black community. And then I said, for me now, these drawings are no longer a passion, but a purpose for me. So, uh, I mean, I had to turn from being just an illustrator to being an advocate. A lot of patients have been misdiagnosed because there's been lack of representation in medical literature. For example, some skin condition represent differently on a black skin than it is on, uh, as it is on, on a white skin. And that has led to a lot of misdiagnosis on, on the side of the doctor because he or she had no experience or have no technical know-how on how to diagnose this key condition on, on the black patient. And this is one of the reasons why representation matters because if we work towards including more diverse drawing in medical textbook, medical students in training will be more exposed to these drawings and would have the experience in treating patients. eBay has been inundated with reactions from black communities around the world. We showed his pictures to medical students here in Lagos. Yes, African. Yes, melanin. Most of the clinical conditions we see in textbooks are usually for white people. For example, the rashes you talked about. In the white people, it's usually pink. So then if I go to the hospital, if I start my clinicals, I might be looking for pink rashes. Meanwhile, it's not pink in black people. So I feel this and many more medical conditions relating to black people actually go a long way in the medical community, especially in Africa. So once we start using our black people, once we see this kind of thing, once we read it in the textbook, there will not be like um, differences between what we read in our textbook and what we are seeing in our gross anatomy lab. So it should actually help us to like understand it better. Since Ibe's picture went viral, he says several publishers have commissioned him to draw more black medical illustrations. He says he plans to publish his own textbook on skin conditions in black people and wants to set up a training school for other African medical illustrators.